Bruno. Who is Bruno today? <laughs> my, my first band was called The Rejects. It was at the time of uh, when punk was first starting to stir in London. Bruno was just one of the regular faces that would always pop up. Hogan. He was mad. He was absolutely mad. He sent this record out into the world and a lot of people listen to them. He knows what his truth is and he sticks to it. Let me see how long it's going to take for the establishment to destabilize the punk movement. It took about six months, sir. And at the end of that six months, I changed the name of my band from the rejects to the homosexuals to keep the major labels away from us. It was absolutely genius to call them the homosexuals because none of them were, which, which I, we, we always thought was quite a sort of a true punk thing to do. And have you known people who were homeless and then gotten off the street? Yes, yes, yes. It's, um, well, Bruno is uh, one of those. Why do I enjoy sleeping in the cupboard so much? Well, if you knew what I'd been through in the last few years, then you'd most probably want to move into a cupboard with me. We knew to survive, we had to work within the system. I think he always refused to work within the system. Um, and that's, in a way, why this film is being made of him, because he stuck his neck out and did what he wanted to do.